I'm, I'm sure you, if, if you noticed. We yes, that one, yeah. Yes, okay. yes. so go to. Not that one. Page. Page, um, page. It doesn't have pages, but it's an extra R10. It was the, the foreigner's logs. Mine doesn't have pages. I, I don't have it. It just reads R10. Anyway. Yes. R10 yes. is titled Users Who Logged In Recently. Do you remember that? You projected it here. We, we projected it, yes. Yes. So Vito mm. logged in on July 28th. That's my question. I want to see whether we're on the same wavelength as to the dates. Because you said they logged in during the tally. Does someone have a copy of the report? We, yes. we can share a copy. You can use this. Yeah. Yeah, please share a copy. Take this. Okay. This is a... Share this. R10. And, and to save on time, Mr. Ngarishia, Mr. Ngarishia, you can be looking at R12 yourself. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So, Mr. Murgor, you, you said in, if I, that's all. R10. Why don't I have this? Okay. Yes. Yes. So, R10, mm -hmm. please read for us the dates that uh, these people logged in and the time. The R10, yes. I have uh, it, the logs start from July 20th to July 28th. Exactly. Yes. So did I hear you saying that this lo they logged in during the tallying period? Um, that's what I had in my document that I filed. We are looking at the registrar's report. So how different is your document from this I, one? I will check because what we have has those logs. Mm. Remember, we are, we are working with the registrar's report, not any other document. That's why I was getting confused. This is probably the reason why we filed our own document, because you have extracted, or your, the registrar has extracted this part, we have extracted the entire. Remember, so we could look at what we have, yes. and I'll speak to the IT people and clarify that. But, but because our for, logs start from July but to But for the registrar's August. report, it's July 20th to July 28th. Yes. Okay, so I just want to clarify that. That was before the election, therefore. That was before the election. Thank you. That, that's all I wanted from you. Uh, Mr. Ngarisha, let's go to R12. I would have expected you, as you come, to answer Mr. Murgro's concern, which was that R12 is a history of delete and removal actions. Mr. Murgro's concern was activity, and you look at the dates, it is uh, 6th of August at the bottom, and then a lot of activity happened on the 31st of August. I would have expected you to say these deletions and removals relate to this action. Mr. Murgor is saying, uh, following the, and, and now I think we can disconnect uh, R10 from R12, but I'm concerned about R12. What activities were these? What was being deleted? What was being removed? So that you can get Mr. Murgor's point, which is quite of interest to me. I thank you. My Lord, far be it for me to correct the course. R12 is a series of command that was firstly executed by the IBC database manager. I refrain from mentioning a name. She has her own security concerns, but her name appears on the record. Then, that is, I would say, if you look at the page from 58 to 72 on your left, that is the command running. If you look at R12, on your left, my lord, there is 58, 59 running. That's the command running, showing there was no deletion. If it was put on the screen in color, you will see what then we did once we realized there was no deletion. Mr. George had a specific command, which he said you can delete or remove from a server. Like, you now press the delete key, or you can press shift delete. So you can either delete or remove permanently from the server. That command was executed. And my lord, be it far from me to comment on this. We register at page 21. James, Khalif Khalifa agent wanted to know if a root user has deleted or removed any file from the server. No records of file deletion or removals were discovered. I could interpret the code where you have 